Hi friends, I'm Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBud143. You are watching Microsoft Office Word 2007 tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to format the tables created in our Word documents. In my previous tutorial, we have seen different ways to create the tables. After creating a table, Word offers many ways to format the table in order to enhance the appearance of the information. When we select our table, we will get Design and Layout tabs under Table Tools. Come to Design tab. Before this, I want to add some text in this table. Place a insertion point in each cell and enter the text. We can format the entire table by using table styles over the cursor over each of the preformatted table styles showing here. And we can preview how the table will look like. Notice that these table styles automatically format our text, row and column colors, and also adding borders in our table. Click on More button. Then a pull down menu with various styles appears. As we move the cursor over the styles, Word displays a live preview of our table formatted in the selected style. Select a suitable style. We can modify the styles from the table styles applied to our document by using the checkboxes in the table style options group. These checkboxes let us decide which elements of the table styles to apply or remove. For example, if you want to apply a total row to our table, check that option in the table style options group and notice that in total row text is converted as bold. Similarly, I want to select a lost column. We can also make custom formatting to a selected table element such as a selected cell, row or column. To do that, select the element you want to format. Come to shading, choose a separate fill color from theme and standard colors over the cursor on each color and check the preview. Also we can click on more colors. To select a shootable one. Similarly, we can apply borders to any selected element. Select the element you want to apply the border to. Click the arrow next to border and choose the border sides you want to apply. And notice that highlighted border buttons appear in the selected cells and non highlighted border buttons do not appear. Also, click on borders and shading which will open borders and shading dialog box. Come to borders, select a border style and we can modify style, color, width of the lines. In right side we can check its preview and also we can restrict this to a specific element. For the click on apply to, here we can select enter table or a cell. Now check the cell with the current setting. Again come to borders, borders and shading. This time I want to select all and in apply to I want to select the table. Okay, next to come to draw borders. If you want to remove specific cell border, click on eraser, come to that cell and click on the border line you want to remove and the line will be erased from the table. Press escape to come out from this option. Suppose if you remove a wrong border. Again to draw it, click on draw table, then the cursor changes as pen, click and drag to draw a borderline we missed. Again press escape to come out from the option. Also we can specify the line style, line weight and pen color. For that click on draw table, then the pen color, line style and line weight options will be activated. Now select the pen color and we can change the line weight and line style next to come to layout tab under table tools come to table group suppose if you are in any cell and you want to select that entire row or column you need to drag the mouse over them to select simply click on select option then we will get some options like Select the cell, select the column, select the row and select the table. Here I want to select the column. Similarly come to select, select the row. Since all the column cells are selected earlier, that's why when we select the row, it will select the entire table. After this, here I have another table applied with a table style instead of the table borders. Sometimes we need to show the grid lines in the table. Again come to layout tab and click on view grid lines. 
then it will show the grid lines in our table again to turn off them click on view grid lines option only suppose if you want to change the indentation text dropping options and so on click on properties option in table group then it will open table properties dialog box which helps to change the advanced table properties from here we can change the width and alignment also we can use text dropping options next to come to row here we can modify the row size now we are in row 1 to go to next row click on next row option after that come to column option modify the column width by clicking on up and down arrows and to go to next column click on the arrow with next column option and to go to previous column click on previous column after that come to cell and here we can change the cell size and vertical alignment after making all the changes click on ok and you will get the table with the selected values like this we can format the tables created in microsoft office word 2007 documents i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video to your friends and visit my channel itbot 140 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends have a nice day